Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a dual review on the last two pieces that I currently have right now of the MAC and Dolls collection. And that would be the Cream Shadow and the Fluid Line. Now, which Cream Shadow am I talking about? I'm talking about Tease Your Tastes. I'm actually wearing it right now, and I was a little skeptical of it. I usually use powder blush. I don't like gel blushes. I don't like cream blushes. I don't like anything that's liquid, because I always do things in a certain way that I feel like it just wouldn't go with my routine, you know foundation, translucent powder, or um, face powder, whatever, and then if I feel like if I add another liquid on top of that, it won't look right. Well, if you put on your foundation and you put on your translucent powder, putting this on top of it will not feel heavy, which I liked. And then I also tried it underneath the translucent powder, and I liked that too, but I find it to be a little bit more vibrant over the translucent powder and then I didn't put anything on top of it, I just let it sit on top of the translucent powder and that's what I did today. So it's right here on the apple of my cheek, I have highlighter here and I have bronzer here to contour, but it's right here on my cheeks and I like that it has like that natural flush, like I feel like I have that natural look rather than overdone, but I'm sure of course you can build it up. So here is the product and like I said it is a cream, there you go. It's like a really, I'm sorry, I have swatches from something else on my hand. It's a really, really nice, so as you can see, you can really blend it out to a nice flush and it becomes matte, but you can also build it up if you'd like, if you want that darker blush, which is That was really impressive to me, considering I don't really like um, cream blushes. So check it out, it's called Tease Your Tastes, and it's a cream blend brush from the MAC Indulge Collection. Now I also picked up the Gilt Gourmet, and that is the Fluid Line, and it's got a shiny back. Um, it is limited edition, so check it out while you can, and it's a gold Fluid Line. I'm wearing it underneath my eye, right here, and I like that it adds just that pop of color under my eye. I'm obsessed with the pop of color under the eye. But you could also do it to line your uh, upper lash and then put the black over it if you make it thick enough. Now, I applied it very, with a very thin brush. I felt like that gave me the, a thin angled brush, I felt like that gave me, gave me the precision I needed. And I simply placed it in there like that, drew a straight line, and then when I applied it, it applied very well. Now, as you can see, it's really reflective, and that's what I liked most about it. That it isn't like in your face gold, but it is extremely, extremely reflective. Where it won't make you look overdone, but it'll definitely bring attention to your eyes. So if you picked up the lipsticks, and you picked up the glosses, and you picked up the shadows, and you were like, well, what else can I get from this collection? What else is worth it? Uh, the cream blush is definitely worth it if you want something a little more natural or something that could be built up. And it stayed for pretty much all day. Like, I'm, it's still very visible. And I like that it has just a little bit of that sheen to it. So I look natural and reflective, but I don't look sweaty. So I like that. And then as for the Gilt Gourmet, I really like this fluid line. If you're a fan of the fluid line formula from MAC, you're going to like this one. Um, especially if you like to do different colors uh, below your eye or on your eyelid. Or you like to get into like the art of the eye. Like you like to make designs. This is really fun for that. Considering you can use a brush for ultimate control. Um, they did have some Egyptian inspired looks, which I don't think I can handle personally, like I know how to do certain looks, but I don't think I can handle that. But um, check out their little face, face um, chart things, and um, I hope you pick these two up. The fluid line I believe is 20, I might be off on that, and the blush I think is 21. I'm always off with the prices of the odd items that I don't pick up too much, but I'll leave a link below to MAC so you can go and check them out either way. Um, I believe they just released in stores on the, on yesterday, <laughs> I believe they just released in stores yesterday on the 22nd, and they've been online since last week, I believe the 13th. So thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to have swatches following this video, and I also have swatches, I'll have swatches on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me, I'm Recycled Stardust.